Dear friends of the Tom Photo channel and all new viewers, I recently made a 10 minute Kden Live tutorial that gets you started quickly. The link is down in the text box. I'm now building on it and showing you how to make time lapse videos and slideshows in Kden Live. There's not much difference between time lapse and slideshows when it comes to the steps you need to take. Let's start with time lapse. So you have taken a series of nice photos in a sequence using a tripod and now you want to make a video out of it. It's easy. Your graphical user interface may look a bit different from mine because its appearance is customizable, but the buttons are still the same. If you have some part of the interface missing, go to the view menu and tick the relevant boxes to make the options visible. First thing, let's make sure that our project settings are what we want. Go to project and then project settings below. Now you can choose the format and frame rate. I'm choosing normal high definition and 23.98 frames per second. I'm not going with the most common 30 frames per second today because I'd like the video to play back more slowly and be a bit longer. We are going into editing mode and selecting the project bin tab. There I have a button called add clip or folder. It's the little square and next to it is a tiny arrow. The tiny arrow is what you want to click. It opens a small box asking what to do next. Today we need to select add image sequence and navigate into the final folder where all of our images are. You need to pay attention to frame duration. Make sure you have all zeros there, but change the very last zero to one. The numbers are hours, minutes, seconds and frames. If we put one in the frames part, we are working at the level of single frames. Next you see a new clip appear in the project tab. This is our new video. Drag it into the editing region down below. Now we can set the playhead anywhere in the video and play it back to see how we like it. If we like it, we can convert what we have into a standalone video file by going to project and render. Choose your rendering settings and click render as I detail in my introductory video link below. This is our current time-lapse video. I think it looks pretty good, but I'd like to show you some quick tricks to modify it. This is only an introduction. The opportunities are plentiful. Let me assume that you want to pan and zoom. For this, click on the effects tab and write transform into the search window. Grab the transform effect with your mouse and drag it on top of the video like so. On the right we now have a box that offers settings for transformation. Select a place in the video by relocating the small white arrow and make a keyframe there by clicking the tiny add keyframe button. If it's too small to see, just hold your mouse over it to see the description. When you add a new keyframe, you are essentially anchoring a location in the video where something is going to happen. You see there is 100% in one of the boxes. Change that number to let's say 130. You can do it if your images are large enough so that you can zoom in. Let's now run this and see what happens. We start zooming and zoom reaches 100% when the playhead reaches our keyframe. Let's say we want to pan as well while we're doing the zoom. Just select the keyframe and change the coordinates of the photo. You can change the values in the coordinate boxes or you can grab the aim mark and drag your photo as you wish. Now we pan the video so that we zoom in on the clouds and the sky. Pretty nice, right? If you make a mistake and the effect becomes a mess, I find it easiest to start all over. Right click on your video clip and select delete effects to start all over. Maybe you want to dim the lights at the end of your video. Type brightness and drag the brightness key frameable on top of your video clip. Now you can enter a keyframe the way we did before and select a new target brightness value for the keyframe. By the way, you can also enter keyframes by double clicking on the relevant part in the box on the right or directly on the video clip itself. Let's look at how the light is dimming as a result of the latest action. Let me briefly show what to do differently when you need to make a slideshow instead. You are loading the folder and images exactly the same way as we did it for the time lapse. Likewise, you are also selecting the tiny arrow the same way and selecting the folder the same way. 
but this time we are changing the seconds number in the frame duration box. Let's put 2 in the seconds part to show each photo for only 2 seconds. I also like to check the dissolve box and leave the value at 1 second. This creates nice smooth transitions. Now we render the file just like we did for the time lapse. When this is done, we'll have a separate video file that shows us each one of our photos for 2 seconds and does nice slide transitions. This tutorial was quick and basic, but that's how I intended it to be, to save you time and get you going quickly. If you decide to subscribe to my channel and leave a like under the video, I'll be very happy indeed. If you want to check out my other Caden Live videos, please find them in the text box. More Caden Live videos are coming. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.